ang pinakamagandang gawin every time you enter a new year and to start reviewing your own mission and vision in life. See, we did not, God created us not just to exist. He created us to fulfill a mission. Kaya naalala nyo, if you ask somebody, kung ikaw mamamatay, what do you want to hear from God? Sabi niya, well done, good and faithful servant. How can you hear those words when you do not even know why you exist? Kaya sabi niya, well done. Eh. Di dapat sabi, nagawa mo ng tama, nagawa mo according to specifications. Tama ba? Well done. Good and faithful servant. In other words, you did exactly what you are required to accomplish. So, napaka-importante yun. And to us also as a ministry, we are not here just to exist. We are not just here to make sure that our numbers are growing. No, we are here to fulfill a mission. What is our mission? To honor God and to make Christ committed followers who will make Christ committed followers. Kasi sa totoo lang, What's the use of all of all the blessings that we have received in 2017 kung wala namang relationship yun sa mission na binigay ng Diyos sa atin? Na, Nauna ba ang po? And to maybe to some of you, kung hindi kayo serious about your own personal mission, I pray that you would not just come here for the sake of coming every Sunday as part of your rituals, kundi you come here because you want to fulfill the mission that God has placed in your heart. Eh, hindi aksidente ang CCF. Maybe God placed you here because God wants you to fulfill the same mission. Amen po. So, review natin, saan na ba ako ngayon in terms of this mission? Tama? Now, if you want to see, tatanungin din natin sa sarili natin, siyempre, if we are fulfilling this mission, we are seeing this as our vision. To see a movement of millions of committed followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, meeting in small groups, transforming lives, families, communities, nations for the glory of God. Di ba napakasarap po? You see, friends, ulitin ko, we're not doing discipleship or making, trying our best to make these people follow Jesus because we want them, we want na, wow, dami na namin. That's not the point. The point really is this. There's so many people out there going nowhere. Walang pinupuntahan ng buhay, sira ang buhay, at ang pinakamasama, they are headed to destruction. And the only way for them to be saved is through Jesus. Because Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Nakakadindihan po. Kung meron tayong pinapanalangin, Lord, we want families to change. We want families to be transformed. We want communities to be transformed. Bakit? Kasi, Lord, wala silang pupuntahan eh. If they could not see transformation in their lives now, kung di na magiging totoo kayo sa buhay lang ngayon, and how can they expect heaven? Kaya nga, what you do from this day forward means much more than what you have already done. Tapos na nakaraan. You may be affected by your past, but you are not defined by it. Not in the eyes of God. Hindi yun na nagbibigay ng pagkatao mo, hindi yun nakaraan. Tapos na yan. Kasi sabi ni Paul kay Timothy, which is very important, sabi fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called. Sa katinawag, you were called, called for eternity. Hawakan mo na yan. Panghawakan mo na yan. Doon ka papunta. Because your destiny is the ultimate definer of your life, not history. Yung destiny mo, saan ka papatungo? If you're headed to towards eternity, ilaban mo na yan. Panghawakan mo na ng todo yan. Okay ba yan? Huwag natin sayangan ng panahon. Kaya nga, this afternoon, our topic is about fight our battles with prayer. And for this month, we will have a short series on prayer profiles. Kaya ho, mag- be excited. Tapos na tayo sa Colossians. We thank God that God allowed us to understand that Christ is supreme. Amen? Amen po? And I hope that most of you were blessed and to understand na, wow, yung warrior ko, yung champion ko is supreme. Etong ganda. Now we can fight our battles with prayer. Okay po? Ang dami nating hinaharap. And since we will do a series on profiles, we will start 
today, epaphras, epaphras. Bakit importante yan? For example, when we are to fulfill God's mission of making disciples, you see friends, what we can only do is just tell them about Jesus, tama ba? But the regeneration part, that's the work of God. And that's spiritual. There is a spiritual battle ahead. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. May labanan. May labanan. And ito po, spiritual. Alam nyo ba, despite this battle, itong kalaban tayo, matindi ha? Sanay na sanay ito. Imagine niyo hindi pa tayo nalilikha. Andiyan na sila. And sanay na sanay sila. Si Adam and Eve na bagsak eh. Walang laban. Pero ito naman, God gave us a weapon. There is power in prayer and fasting. You know why? Because it is a means of access or entry into the supernatural power of God. It is God's gateway to spiritual breakthrough. God's gateway to supernatural power and spiritual breakthrough is prayer and fasting. You know why? Ito, let me just tell you this. Long, long time ago, sinulat ko ito eh. Pero gusto ko share sa inyo. Sabi ko nga, the world is shaped by prayer. The more we pray, the more our world becomes better. Because we have the mightiest force against the spirit of darkness. Ano yan? The power of God. Pero paano mo i-access? Through prayer and fasting. Kaya sabi ng Lord, tindan nyo, this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Kaya nga, God expects us to fast. Alam nyo ba yun? Kaya iba sa inyo, oh, hindi ako marunong eh. Huwag ka magalala, walang marunong sa atin. God expects us to fast. Kaya nga, He expects us to fast. Tindan nyo, sabi niya, when you fast, do not put on a gloomy face. Sabi niya, the hypocrites, as the hypocrites do, for they neglect their appearances. God expects us to fast. Kaya si Jesus mismo, eh, ito, God wants us to obey Him kasi command niya ito eh. The question is not, nor has it ever been, whether God is willing to move in the hearts of His people. The issue is whether we are willing to surrender in full obedience to Him so that we may begin to enjoy the enormous blessings He invites us to enjoy by living in His presence. Yeah, maraming tayo sabi, gusto ko mag-fast kasi gusto ko maka-experience. Listen to this. Hindi yun ang issue when you fast. Yes, blessing ang experience. Pero ang fasting ganito, Lord, kahit hindi ka nakikinig sa kanta ko, kakantahan kita. Kahit hindi ka tumitingin sa akin, sasayawan kita. Panginoon, kahit hindi ka umimik, makita ko lang na nasa tabi kita. Masaya na ako. Yun yung hamon ng fasting. Kaya alam nyo, Christian fasting, as its root, sabi nga ni John Piper, is the hunger of a homesickness for God. Ay, ay, alam nyo, ayan ang Christian fasting. Sobrang homesick sa Diyos. Kaya hindi nga tayo makakain eh. Kaya sabi nga, half of Christian fasting is that our physical appetite is lost because our homesickness for God is so intense. The other half is that our homesickness for God is stressed because our physical appetites are so intense. Laban yun eh. Crispy pata. Oh, si Lord. Naman, ang ganun yan eh, di ba? Sinigang na baboy. Oh, si Lord. Yan ang labanan eh. Ang lupit nun. Tapos yung amoy lang, oh, pangat. Di ba? Oh, ang mukha ng Diyos. Nandiyan nyo, yan ang labanan. Kaya itindi ng labanan yan. Kaya nga sabi niya, in the first half, Appetite is lost. In the second half, appetite is resisted. In the first, we yield to the higher hunger that is, in the, uh, that, that is, and in the second, we fight for the higher hunger that is not. Sabi niya, Christian fasting is not only the spontaneous effect of a superior satisfaction in God, it is also chosen weapon against every force in the world that would take that satisfaction away. Now listen, sabi niya, for all that ill that Satan can do when God describes what keeps us from the banquet table of His love, it is a piece of land, a yoke of oxen, and a wife. The greatest adversary of the love to God is not His enemies, but His gifts. And the most deadly ap- appetites are not the poison of evil, but for the simple pleasures of earth. For when this place an appetite for God, they place an appetite for God Himself, the idolatry is scarcely recognizable and almost incurable. Why pray and fast? Kaya nga, even Jesus Christ modeled it. Jesus fasted. The early church modeled it. They fasted. And not only, the apostles also fasted. Look at them. They were in fasting. Kasi it is an humble dependence on God. Naalala nyo, sabi sa Bible, kay Daniel, fasted. 
Nasusunod niyo po, as we come to God in prayer and fasting, we are dependent on Him, we become more sensitive to the Holy Spirit, and obviously, we are ano, we're experiencing revival personally, nationally, globally. Now, fight our battles with prayer. Now, how are we to fight? Now, dito palang talagang pag-usapan na natin. Simulan natin sa buhay ni Epaphras. Sabi dito, Epaphras, who is one of your number, a bond slave of Jesus Christ, sends you his greetings. Always laboring earnestly for you in his prayers. Napansin niyo ba yan? That you may stand perfect and fully assured in all the will of God. Look at this. Sabi niya, laboring earnestly with prayers. Alam niyo ba yung word na yan? Agonazimai. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, as it engages in a contest, contend for a prize. Sa madalit salita, nilalaban niya talaga. Sabi niya, laboring earnestly with prayers. Pinag, pinag, naglalaban ni kayo ni Epaphras. Pinaglalaban kayo parang hindi lang masa naglumaban, nagpray. Kundi he prayed to win. Hindi yan nagpray lamang for the sake of praying. Nilaban ko to, iniyak ko to. Hindi. He prayed to win. Nagkakanin yan tayo? When you fight in prayer, you pray to win. Kaya nga ang challenge dito to. Tinan nyo ha? The, why is it uh, wrestling? Kaya yung word doon, wrestling eh. Tinan sabi niya, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Yung word na guard is to garrison, to protect your mind and your heart, to focus on Jesus. Bakit? Kasi every time we're confronted with battles, every time we're confronted with problems, every time we're confronted with issues in life, yung ating utak na focus sa sitwasyon kaysa sa Diyos. Kaya pag may sakit ka, nabalita mo sabi ng doktor, Ma'am, Happy New Year po. Pero, may cancer ka. Stage 7. <laughs> Sabog na bigla utak mo. Sabi, anong sagot dito? Ano, sino? Paano? Saan ka pupunta? Ilalaban mo yan. Wrestling yan. Kasi bakit? Pagkatapos mo mag-pray, akala mo ba? Tap, pray, Lord, pagalingin mo ako. Akala mo tapos yan? Hindi. Pag bangon mo gano'n, gagaling ba ako? Gagaling ba ako? Pag nag-kimo ako, kakalbo ako. Pag nakalbo ako, paano na yan? Di ba ni si Pastor Bong, wala pang kimo, kalbo na. Pero, pero wala pa rin. So, litong-lito ka pa rin. May laban. Kaya yan, resting. Ang bilib ako, Epa Pras, he was not just praying for himself. He was resting for the people, for the Christians in Colossae. He was fighting before God. Saying, Lord, please, give me peace that these people are really yours. That these people are standing firm in their faith in you. Lord, as a pastor, I pray that way. As a pastor, I also experience that. Every time na pupunta ako, iyak ako, Lord. Tuwan-tuwa lang ba sila sa akin? O talagang nakikita lang kayong tagapaligtas nila? Lord, natutuwa lang ba sila? O talagang nakikita lang they need to follow you? Committed followers of you? Yun ang dinirresting mo. Kasi pag tinignan, Lord, natutulog lang siya eh. Pag nagpipreach ako, tulog siya eh. Tapos tanabang mo, anak, hindi siya natutulog, nagpipreach. O di na encourage ka na popokus ka kay God. Pag sinabi niya, anak, di bali, huwag ka na magsadong mag-alala sa kanya. Ako nang bahala dyan, impyerno naman siya eh. Ha? O di lalo ka na papalaban. Naintindan niyo ba ibig sabihin? Yun yung wrestling na yun. Kaya nga, pag ginawa mo na, kaya tuloy-tuloy ang conversation mo sa Diyos until the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Subukan nyo. Praying for your exams, praying for your work, daming battle until the peace comes. At pag nagdating ng peace, phew, panatag kang bigla. You can sing songs before God regardless of the situation. You're praying up for your children. You're praying for your husband. Lord, nang bababahay pa rin, pero you have that sense of peace. Akong bahala sa asawa mo. Then you just love your husband. You serve your husband. You just do whatever God tells you to do for your husband. And thank you, Lord, hindi ko nakikita pagbabago, but I thank you because you are in control. Ibig sabihin, sa tuhod pa lang, panalo ka na. Kaya nga, pray to win. And win with your knees. Wag mong labanan sa labas. Sa tuhod mo labanan. Kaya nga, kapag may problema ka, wag mong dibdibin. Tuhurin mo. Nagkakanilihan? 
Huwag niyong kakalimutan yan. Kapag may problema ka, problema mo sa anak, problema mo sa tatay, problema mo sa magulang, problema mo sa opisina, problema mo sa eskwelahan, problema mo sa, sa trabaho, huwag mong dibdibin. Tuhurin mo. Doon mo ilaban. Huwag ka sa labas, huwag ka makipagtalo. In the name of... Huwag ganun. Dito mo labanan. Durugin mo yung demonyo. Hindi ako papayag dahil si Jesus hanggang ang kapayapaan ng Diyos na sa'yo. And you're won. you have won the battle. Even Jesus Christ did that. Before, on the cross, sabi niya, Lord, if possible, let this cup pass by me. Ano sabi Jesus? Not my will, but your will be done. And He did that thrice until the angel of the Lord ministered to Him. Doon pa lang, panalo na siya sa cross. Doon pa lang. Bakit? Sa Gethsemane pa lang, dinugo na siya to win. Okay, when you pray, pray to win and win it with your knees. Kakanina ka sabi ng Bible, tinan nyo, tinan nyo yung mga battle. Before you think of the battle outside, you lust and do not have. You commit murder. You are envious and cannot obtain. So you fight and quarrel. May battle na within. Eh bakit nagkakaroon ng ganun? Because you do not have, because you do not ask. Ano issue? You do not have because you do not ask. Okay, when you fight your battle in prayer, you learn to ask. Remember, say it with me. Ask. Ano ibig sabihin yan? As you are, seek the highest good and keep conquering in and with prayer. Balikan natin si Epaphras. Epaphras, who is one of your number. What have you noticed about this guy? Hindi siya special guy. Yes, he is a pastor at that time. Yes, he grew up to, to his work spiritual and God used him to minister in Colossae. At tinapansin niyo po ba? Dito, epapras siya. Sa Philippi, epaproditus. According to some scholars, isang tao lang yan. I said, I was wondering, bakit ganon? Because he's just one of us. In other words, taga dito siya sa Colossae. Kaya kahit yung tawag sa kanya, epapras, kasi kilala siya doon. Kumbaga, si Bong yan. Ay, di ba si Rito yan? Hindi, si Bong. Pareho lang yun, isa lang. Naintindihan niya sabihin. Now, ang punto rito, ganito. Minsan, yung kasama mo, hindi mo paniwalaan. Ito, magpe-pray kay God. Kakausapin yung presidente para sa akin. Impossible. Minsan, you no. Know, lahat tayo, when we come to God in prayer, minsan ang utak natin kagad, hindi naman ako pakikinggan ni God eh. Sino ba naman ako? Eh, ah, ang dami kong pagkakamali. Ang dami kong kasalanan. Paano niya ako pakikinggan? Alam niyo kung bakit? Una, kaya hindi ka pakikinggan na wala kang relasyon kay Jesus Christ. But if you belong to Jesus, if you belong to Jesus, and you truly believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord, kahit sino ka pa, you are very much welcome to the very kingdom of God. Bakit? Kasi anak ka niya eh. Kaya nga, ang prayer is not for special people. Epaphras is one of us. Tinan niyo ha? Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. Sino si Elijah? Prophet of God. But pareho lang natin siya. He also gets depressed. Si, si Elijah, nagpray, walang ulan. Walang ulan. Ilang taon? Tagal. Taon. Pag sabi niya, umulan, umulan. Nagpray. Pareho lang natin siya. Alam niyo ba yun? O sabi mo sa tabi mo, pareho lang tayo. Si Elijah, inantok din. Hindi <laughs> totoo. Pinatulog nga siya ni God eh. Pero nung nagpray, pinakinggan ni God. Ah. Oh. Pareho lang natin si Elijah. Pareho lang natin si Epaphras. Yes, Epaphras became a pastor, but he is of the same nature as us. So when you come to God, hindi ka pupunta rin na make a special. Ganyan ang mga Pharisees, Lord, I fasted twice a week. Lord, I gave my tithe. Parang special sila, so you better listen to my prayers because I am different. Ano sabi nung isa? Binubugbog yung dibdib. Makasalanan po ako, Lord. I'm not even worthy to be. Hindi ka makatingin kayo, dinudug yung dibdib eh. Pareho lang na yung makakasalanan lahat. Minsan, nahanap pa tayo ng pastor, pastor, pag-pray mo ko, kasi alam ko, ikaw ang pakikinggan ng Diyos, hindi ako. Ha? Ano ka ba? Alam mo kung sino ka? Kung tinanggap mo si Jesus, sabi nga ni Max Lucado, our prayers may be awkward. Maring hindi tayo ganun kagaling mag-pray ka pa rin ng ibang tao. Our attempts may be feeble. But since the power of prayer is in the one who hears it, and not in the one who says it, our prayer do make a difference. Tama? Andiyan pa kayo? Hello? Kaya, 
Balikan natin. Because you are sons, kutin God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba. Kung baga sa ano, Daddy, Tatay, Dad, Father. Hello. To so many of us, kaya hindi natin ma-enjoy minsan pag naisip natin tatay. Kasi feeling natin tatay, hindi nakikinig sa atin. Pag may sasabi, tay, oh, ano na naman? Hindi na ng pera. Doon sa nanay mo. Katuloy, ang inaharap natin nanay. Hindi ganun si God. Si God, so, sobrang opposite natin. Sabi nga ng Lord, if you evil fathers know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your heavenly father who is in heaven? Oh, pinakikita niya na agad, Yung tatay mo, mabait. Pag humingi ka ng, ng isda, hindi ka bibigyan ng ahas. Pag humingi ka ng tinapay, hindi ka bibigyan ng bato. Sabi niya, if your evil fathers know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your heavenly father? So he was saying, yung pinakamabait na tatay niyo sa lupa, mas matindi pa si God dyan. Oh, nakuha niyo? So sabi niya, and itong tatay natin, anong kinakatakutan mong lumapit sa Diyos? Marami sa atin, malaki problema. Kasi lumakad kayo ng hiwalay sa Diyos eh. Tapos hindi nyo na alam pa paano kayo babalik. Lord, Pastor, pag-pray mo ako, lumapit ka kay Lord. Papakinggan niya pa ba ako? Ang dami ko. So, maway ako sa kanya eh. Siyempre naman. Wala ka naman ibang pupuntahan eh. Sa kanino ka tatawag? Sa ibang tatay. Wala kang lalapitan. Magsisi ka, lumapit ka kay Jesus. Yun ang gawin mo. Lumapit ka dahil wala kang ibang tatakbuhan. Hello? Kasi paglapit mo kay Jesus, you are not standing with your own righteousness. You are standing with the righteousness of Jesus. Hello? Aaminin ko sa inyo, hindi rin naman ako perfect. Ang dami kong kapalpakan. But every time I come to God, hindi yung kapalpakan ng issue sa akin. Ang, yung, ang issue sa akin, yung kabutihan at perfection ni Jesus. My confidence is not in my righteousness. My confidence is in Jesus. Kaya nga, in Jesus' name. Kaya, Lord, I know, nandyan ka, you listen to me because of Jesus. That's why I stand in His name. Sabi ng Bible, is anyone among you suffering? Anong dapat mong gawin? As you are. He must pray. Is anyone cheerful? Pag masaya ka, huwag kang piliting umiyak. Kung masaya ka, di magpuri ka, ano ka ba? As you are. Di ba? Is anyone among you sick? Oh, kung may sakit ka, huwag ka nang tumayo at magpuring ganyan. Anong dapat mong gawin? Na hindi mo nga kaya, tawag ka ng elders, be honest enough. Tawag ka ng elders o oh, d-group leader mo o oh, mga kasama mo that they will pray for you and, and anoint you with oil. Ngayon, tinan nyo, ha? it's still not them, but the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick. Yung faith mo pa rin, Lord, kasi nanidiwala ako sa iyo eh. Come to God as you are. Don't try to prove anything before the Lord because you, you cannot prove anything. Sa totoo lang, kilalang kilala niya tayo. Kaya nga, in that day, you have not questioned me about anything. Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask the Father for anything in my name, He will give it to you. Sabi niya, until now, you have not asked for nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be made full. Ano sabi ng Lord? Ask. As you are, you ask. Okay po? Minsan tataka, Lord, walang nangyari. Siningi mo na ba? Hindi. <laughs> then you ask. Ako pa nagpe-pray sa Diyos diretso. Lord, kailangan ko po na isang daang libong piso. May babayaran po ako. Wala nang paikot-ikot. Lord, pakisama yung tights. Kasi pagka hindi, kulang na naman yan. Hingi ako. <laughs> Naintindihan niyo po. Lord, pa nagpipreach? Lord, magpipreach ako. Baka makalimutan ko yung dapat kong sabihin. Lord, paalala mo sa akin. Lalo na pag naistorbo ako sa natutulog. Sinasabi ko talaga. Akala niyo ba hindi ako naistorbo sa natutulog? Sinasabi ko naman, Lord, tulungan mo naman. Oh. Huwag na siya matulog. Oh. Pati yung mukha, inaalala ko. Hindi ko alam pangalan eh. Sabihin mo totoo. Kaya sabi niya, in that day you will ask in my name. And I do not say to you that I will request of the Father on your behalf. Hindi ako. Because God Himself wants to answer your prayer. That's what He's saying. Sabi niya, tatay ko mismo gusto ka niyang sagutin. Alam mo ba yun? Kaya you pray. You ask in my name. He will. 
Ulitin ko, God does not answer our greeds. He answers our need. And sometimes, He gives what we want because He wants us to be encouraged and to be all the more in love with Him. Pangalawa, seek the highest good. Tingnan niyo po mabuti. Epaphras, who is one of your number, a bond slave of Jesus Christ, sends you His greeting, always laboring earnestly for you in His prayers. Anong prayer niya? That you may stand perfect and fully assured in all the will of God. Anong gusto niya? Hindi siya nagpe-pray, Lord, bigay mo yun, i-bless mo siya. Lord, please, ipagalingin mo siya. Those are good prayers. Lord, bigyan mo siya ng bagong kotse, bigyan mo siya bagong bahay. Magaganda yun. But more than anything, sabi niya, I want them to stand perfect. Yun ang kanyang request. I want them to stand perfect. I want them to stand firm in growing mature. I want them to be matured in their relationship with you. I want them to be matured in their walk with you. I want them to be matured in, their, in the knowledge of you because there's nothing more, there's, there's nothing more blessed than those who are, those who know you. Di ba sabi nga ni jo- Jeremiah, don't boast that you, that about your knowledge. Or you boast that you know the Lord. Yun ang pinaka-importante. That you grow mature in the Lord. Nakuha niyo? Kasi bakit? Ano ba yung mature na sinasabi? Mamaya, papaniwanag sa'yo. Ito yung mature. Tinan niyo. Hebrews. Concerning Him, we have much to say. It is hard to explain. Since you have become dull of hearing. Kasi posible yung Christians, no? ganito sila. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you have need again for someone to teach you the base, the elementary principles of the oracles of God as you have come to need milk and not solid food. Pero mo sabi niya, sana nga matured na kayo. Tinan mo, balik na naman tayo dito sa elementary teachings. Nasabi niya, for everyone who partakes only of milk is not accustomed to the world of righteousness. For he is an infant. Yan ang exactly si sabi niya. But solid food is for the mature who because of practice have their senses trained to discern good and evil. Yun ang pinagpe-pray ni Epaphras. Lord, itong mga taon to, itong mga Christian to, Lord, yun ang talaga mas mabuti that they can discern good and evil. Kasi ang pinaka-evil, pinaka-mahirap na discern alam niyo bakit? Ito, hindi lang yung good and evil eh. Buti pa nga minsan, good and evil. White and dark or white and black lang, ganyan. Ang pinaka-mahirap, yung Satan will use good against the best. Hello? And it takes practice to discern. Uy, it takes practice to discern. And ang problema, hindi ka magkakaroon ng practice kung hindi ka magkakaroon ng circumstance to practice. Tama? And who will give that circumstance? God. Yun ang nilalaban ni Epapras. Hindi madali. Kahit sa anak, alam nyo ba? Minsan magpe-pray ka, Lord, para matutunan ng anak ko kung gaano kahalaga ito. Lord, pa, alam mo bang hindi madali yun? Kasi pag dumaan siya doon sa problema na yun, parang wala kang magawa. Napaka-helpless mo bilang tatay. Pero ang laban mo lang, Lord, let him win, let him win, let him win, let him win. Wala. Kasi yung circumstance magtuturo eh. Minsan ang prayer ko sa mga disciple ko, Lord, bigyan mo sila ng matitinding problema. Ah, kala niyo ba ang prayer ko, hindi blessing? Bigyan mo siya ng matinding problema para makita nila na talagang problema nito, ikaw lang ka lang aasahan and they will rejoice because they know you are true because they have won the battle. Kaya, minsan, alam niyo kung anong prayer niyo lagi sa bansa? Ay, ang layo-layo natin. Lord, give us prosperity. Give us... Tingnan niyo nga ang Korea. Sobrang prosperous. Sabi nga ni Pastor Ricky kanina, 56%, hindi na nagtitiwala sa Diyos. They had the longest running revival, ha? spiritually. Pero tingnan nyo nangyari because of... Tingnan nyo nga, pray na pray, Lord, bigyan mo siya, dali mo siya sa, sa Saudi Arabia. Tapos siya sa Saudi Arabia, naging blessed siya, nakalimutan ang pamilya rito. Yun, nagkuha ng ibang pamilya roon. Yun ba yung pinagpe-pray natin? Pray natin, Lord, tulungan mo nga siya na kahit isara mo yung pinto sa Saudi, nang sagay makita niya may pintuan sa Pilipinas. Hindi madaling mag-pray ng ganun kasi pag nagpapapray yung iba, gusto nila yung gusto nila. Eh ang prayer mo, yung mas importante sa kanila. Di ba, hirap, pastor, pag-pray mo, magkabisa kami ha, kasi para doon na ako. Tapos yung anak, eh paano mga pamilya mo? May iwan sila dito. <laughs> eh pa, paano sila? Hindi, <laughs> di bahala si Lord sa kanila, hindi mo sila papabayaan eh. Ganun, kaya pala kukuha ka ng ibang pamilya doon. Siyempre, hindi mo naman sasabihin niya, pero pag-pray, Lord, pag-pray mo, Lord, isara mo naman yung pinto oh. 
Ah, oh, madali ba 'yon? Lord, kunyari yung anak mo, mayroong kaugnayan sa isang lalaki na hindi naman mananampalataya. Lord, pakita mo naman na yung batang yun, hindi karapat dapat sa kanya. Masakit yun. Yun ang prayer mo. Hindi yung abor na kinawa para sila na lang. Eh, lalaki nga eh. Lalaki din siya. Ano ka ba? Kahit abor na ganyan yun, di pwede. Maintindihan ninyo, bisan masakit eh. Lord, ila- ilabang mo, masakit eh. Masakit. Pero kailangan niyang matuto. Sometimes, it's painful. But they have to learn. Yun ang sinasabi ni Epapras. Kaya naman, laboring. Ang hirap kasi nagtatalo yung gusto mo tsaka yung nararapat. Tingnan ninyo yung mga taga-acts. Napansin nyo ba bakit sabi nila lack of faith daw yung nagpe-pray sila? Si, si Peter kumakatok na. Kasi they never prayed for Peter to be released. They prayed for Peter to die victoriously. Hello? Ibang Christians noon. Noon, ang Christians, ang hangad nila to die faithfully. Ngayon ang mga Christians gusto makatakas. Maka- Hindi. Noon, ang sa kanila, mapanalo lang. Kasi James patay eh. Kaya inexpect na si Peter din, susunod na. So, pinagpipray nila, sana magtagumpay. Eh, pinakawalan ng Lord, may ibang plano ang Diyos. Kaya gulat sila lahat. Kumakatok si Peter. Kasi, sa pananaw ko ito ha, hindi ko naman sinasabi, ako lang ang tama. Pero, inisip ko, kaya hindi na inexpect na papakawalan ni Lord, ni Lord si Peter. Kasi hindi naman na pinagpray yun. Ang pinagpipray nila, for him to victorious, to be victorious. Minsan, ganun dayo. Dapat ang prayer natin, always the highest good. Bonus na lang yung ibang bagay. Yan. Kaya, that we may discern good and evil. At tinan nyo, be fully assured in all the will of God. Grabe. Yung bang talaga yung assurance sila do sa will ng Diyos. Yung bang, Lord, dito talaga. Alam nyo ba, ay isa sa pinaka nakakatakot nangyayari sa mga Christians, pakinggan ninyo. Ano ba tong will of God? Bakit importante ito? Naalala nyo, in the last days, many will say, Lord, Lord, will, will not enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does not the will of the Father who is in heaven will not, will enter, sabi niya. Sabi niya, Lord, ka. Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not in your name cast out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Maganda. Pero ang tanong ng Lord, pero hindi yun naman ang, hindi naman yun ang will na gusto ko matutunan ninyo eh. Tingnan ninyo, when you come to me, ano pinagmamalaki nyo? I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. Ano ba yung will nyo talaga, Lord? Ano ba talaga? May sadya tayo nagtatalo-talo even among Christians. Ano ba talaga will mo? Sabi ni God, tinanong din si Jesus niyan eh. Therefore, they said to him, what shall we do? Anong gusto mong gawin namin? So that we may work the works of God. Anong sagot lang ni Jesus? This is the work of God, that you believe in Him whom He has sent. Yun lang ang rekam niya. Magtiwala ka kay Jesus. Alam niyo kung bakit? As we are growing in the Lord, some of us, instead of growing dependently on Jesus, Bigla tayong nahuhulog sa performance basis. Bigla tayong nahuhulog na dapat ganito gawin natin. Kaya sabi ni nga ni, ano, ni, ni Epapras, yung mga prayer nila, tinan nyo, we have not ceased to pray for you. Si Paul na to, to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you will walk in a manner worthy of the Lord to please Him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all power according to His glorious might for the attaining of all steadfastness and patience, joyously giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Dapat dun tayo nagpupuri sa Diyos. Lord, thank you for saving us. Mga hintil kami. Dahil dito, Lord. Lord, kaysa nagtatalo kami kung saan Lord, I want to tell the world, you need Jesus. You need Jesus. You need, ang daming mga kaluluwang nawawala. Tapos ang pagtatalunan natin, Sabado at Linggo, pagtatalunan natin, pagkain, pagtatalunan natin, Pasko, bakit hindi na lang sa kay Jesus? Kaya dun, sabi niya, you focus and may the Lord allow us to grow in the knowledge of His will. Amen po? Kaya tinan niyo ang challenge niya sa Romans. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for them is for their salvation. Sino yan? The Jews. I testify about them that they have a zeal for God. Sobra. Nag-aapoy sila, but not in accordance with knowledge. Sabi niyo? Kaya nga, I pray that they would understand. I mean, for not knowing about God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own, they did not subject themselves to the righteousness of God. Ano ba righteousness of God? 
For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. And sabi niya, for Moses writes that the man who practices the righteousness which is based on law shall live by that righteousness. If you think you will become righteous by going back to the law, then you have forgotten that the more you follow that, you have to live by that. Eh sabi niya, hindi na si Jesus nang takbuhan mo kasi ito lang ang law, simple lang. It's not the letter, it's the intent. Ano intent? You love God and if you love Jesus, you will love one another as Jesus loved you and me. Nagkakanidihan po? So, papatay ka pa ba? Hindi na. Kasi, ma, yung patay nga, hindi na lang literal na pagpatay, kundi magbibigay pahalaga sa buhay ng ibang tao dahil pinahahalagahan ni Jesus ang katabi mo. O di umangat lalo pa. Naintindihan natin, na hindi mo na pag-iisipan ng masama. Kaya tinong sabi niya, kaya that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. Kano sabi ng Lord? Seek the highest good. Lord, I pray that these people, that they would really come to become mature in their understanding of you. That they will appreciate the salvation that they receive from you. Then, tingnan ninyo, tatama rin ka pang magpray, tatama rin ka pang kumanta sa Diyos, tatama rin ka pang maglingkod sa Diyos, knowing that you were saved by His grace, Paano ka tatama rin? Pag tinamad ka pa, hindi mo talaga naintindihan how you were saved. Hello? Alam niyo ba bakit ka na-encourage bumangon sa kada umaga? Lord, wala nga akong karapatan sa kaharian mo eh. Biruin mo, Lord. Kantahan man kita kahit maganda boses ko. Hindi mo ako pakikinggan dahil masamang tao ako. Makasalanan ako. Kasi mula't simula pa lang. But because of Jesus, who became my righteousness, now you can hear my voice. Every morning you can hear my voice. In my prayer, you can hear my voice. And now, Lord, I know I can hear your voice all because of Jesus. Kaya ka excited mag-fasting kasi I want to spend time with my God. Kasi, imagine, wala nga akong karapatan dito eh. Pero God gave me all the privileges all because of Jesus. Kaya, lamangan ka man ang kapwa mo. Ang dating mo, Lord, di bali, ikaw ang sapat sa akin eh. Can you imagine? Kahit talikuran ako ng ibang tao, ikaw, hindi mo ako tinalikuran. Kaya Lord, sino pang hahanapin ko? Ikaw la Lord ang kasapatan ko. Kaya mga babae, ba't kayo nagsasabit sa asawa nyo? Because of Jesus. Mga bab- lalaki, ba't niyo mahal asawa nyo? Because of Jesus. Mga anak, ba't yun may respeto sa magulang nyo? Because of Jesus. Mga magulang, bakit tinatsagaan nyo anak nyo? Dahil mahal ang panganak. But because of Jesus, you will begin to enjoy. Hindi na lang sa pilitan, ano ba kayo? Hindi nyo ba rin tindihan ang hirap ko bilang nanay nyo? Hindi nyo ba rin tindihan ang hirap ko bilang mga magulang ninyo? Hindi. Mga anak, dahil mahal ko si Jesus, mamahaling ko rin kayo. Dahil importante kayo kay Jesus because I'm doing this for Jesus, not for you. Finally, keep conquering in and with prayer. Kasi, hindi tayo papayag na hanggang doon lang tayo. We are not just to win a battle, but keep on winning because we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Let's continue. Sabi ng Bible, Epapras, who is one of your number, look at the words, laboring earnestly for you in prayers that you may stand perfect and fully assured in all the will of God. For I testify for him that he has a deep concern for you and for those who are in Laodicea, and Hierapolis. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Tingnan nyo ha, yung word na deep, ibig sabihin niyan, much, great, as in extensive. Yung concern, labor unto extreme fatigue. Yung pag wow, yung concern niya, pagod na akong pagod, exhausted na ako, exhausted. Ganon siya ka, ano, ka-concern. Now, anong concern na yun? Tingnan nyo ha, itong concern na to, itong amazing, parang Ine-express niya very hard ni Jesus when He was here. In the days of His flesh, look at the words, He offered up both prayers and supplications with loud crying and tears to the one able to save Him from death. And He was heard because of His piety. And although He was a son, ano si Jesus? Anak na ng Diyos. Niya, he learned obedience from the things which He suffered. Ganon siya katodo. Sabi niya, kaya naman, sabi niya, and having been made perfect, He became to all those who obey Him the source of eternal salvation. Because of Jesus, 
Parang tayo ng ganong assurance. Kaya nga, ganun na lang din si Epapras. Laban niya talaga, yung talagang ubusan ng lakas. Eh, nakakatawa pa kasi, alam niyo ba yung ibig sabihin na Epapras? Covered with foam. Sa Tagalog yan, meron tayong counterpart na Tagalog yan. Bumubula ang bibig. <laughs> Naintindihan niyo ba yan? Pag sinabi bumubula, talagang laban na laban na yun. Talagang todo-todo yun. Na- Nakuha niyo? Ayan. Ito pang amazing. Tinan niyo ha? Kaya you keep on being on fire in prayer. Huwag kang mawawala ng ano, manghihina. Laban mo. As in, be persistent. Angkat hindi ka, hindi tapos ang laban, pray ka. Pray ka. Laban mo. Na- Naintindihan niyo po? Naalala ko may isang bata eh. Binababtize yung nanay niya. Ando siya sa, ano, iyak siya ng iyak. Iyak siya ng iyak. Sabi ni Bill Hybels, sabi niya, why are you crying? <laughs> Lalo ko biyak. Why? What happened? Sabi niya, I almost gave up praying for my mom. On the 17th year, nothing was happening. On the 18th year, nothing was happening. And he is just even getting worse in her character, in her attitude towards the gospel. But I kept on praying. Ganun. And on the 19th year, she accepted Jesus and look, she's being baptized. Iyak siya ng iyak. Sa, si Bill, napaluha na rin, siyempre. Ay, minsan, ganun tayo. Gusto na tayong mag Parang wala na ata akong pag-asa. Parang, wag. Kapag alam mong kalooban ng Diyos, wag kang magbawala ng pag-asa. Nandiyan, palagay mo, hindi ba kalo, kalooban ng Diyos na makakilala sila sa Panginoon? Hello? Sa palagay mo, hindi ba kalooban ng Diyos na mabuo ang pamilya ninyo? Oh. Sa palagay nyo, hindi ba kalooban ng Diyos yung anak nyo bumalik sa Panginoon Diyos? What do you think? Don't give up. Don't give up. Tinan nyo kung paano si... Tinan nyo. For I testify. Tinan nyo si, si, si Epaphras. If he is locally from Colossae, Tingnan nyo naman siya. He never gave up. He did not just stop in Colossae. Oh, marami na ako naging Christian dito. He also have deep concern for those are in Laodicea and Herapolis. Tingnan niyo kung gano'n yan. Ito yung Colossae. Ito yung Laodicea. Ito yung Herapolis. Naku, dire-diretso pa yan. Hindi siya titigil. He will keep on praying. Nagkakaintindihan po tayo. Ngayari, pinag-pray mo yung office mate mo. Lord, oh, naging Christian. Hey, tuloy ka pa. Tuloy ka pa. Okay po ba yan? Huwag kang titigil. Minsan na, well, okay na, answer prayer na ako. Ang dami pa. Ang dami pa. Lord, nagpray ako, makapag-share ng 33. Oh, 365 pa. Huwag ng 33. Tuloy ka pa. Ang dami pang Pilipino. Nagpray mo yung kapitbahay mo. <laughs> Meron pa. Yung village pa. O pinag-pray mo yung village mo, hindi pa, yung barangay pa. Yung barangay, ay, meron pa yung lungsod. Hindi pa, yung bansa, and to the uttermost part of the earth. Hindi pa, marami pa. Don't stop. Keep on praying to win. And win with our knees. Fight our battle in prayer. But you can never win until you yourself have surrendered to Jesus Christ because He will fight for you. Not you fighting, but Jesus in you. Kaya kung hindi, if you don't belong to Jesus at hindi ka kabahagi ng pamilya ni Jesus, I'm telling you, you first need to surrender to Jesus and be part of the army of the living Jesus for this world. Tayo pong lahat yung mukot, pumikit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Kapatid, God is looking for recruits who will fight the battle in prayer, the fight this, for this country in prayer, the fight our nation, our families in prayer. And friends, He's recruiting. But He need first. He wants you first to surrender to Him and say, Lord Jesus, I want to be part of your army. But I surrender to you first, O God. I know that my life is not mine, but yours. For I know that it's more important to you, Father God, for me to belong to you, to be part of you, to be, to be assured that I will be with you in eternity. So, Lord Jesus, 
I surrender my life to you. And allow me to be part of your army of prayers. Of Lord, or army who would pray and who would really exert your power for this nation, for the families in this nation, and even in the world. Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing us to be part of your army. Thank you for giving us the weapon that no spiritual darkness or spirit of darkness will ever prevail. For you are our champion and you are our victory. Allow us not, Father God, to give up. Allow us not, O Lord, to think that we are better than others. Allow us not, Father God, to trust in our own strength, but to always trust in you alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for our, for our sin. And thank you that you rose again from the dead to give us a new life. Life with power because you are powerful. Thank you indeed that we are more than conquerors because of you, Lord Jesus. We love you because you first love us. Thank you, God. May you bless every family we represent. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.